All right. So the other project that we're working on today is in the pavilion. So we're going to walk in here. So we have a production line going. Uh, we have stuff going on in the stove. The stove's going right now. I'll show you that in a second. But we got a splitter. We're slicing apples. The apples are going into the pot. They're getting cored. All the cords and all that stuff are going right there. And so uh, we've only pulled, what, four buckets so far? You got one, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Four, yeah. Yeah. So, and of those four, this one is overflowed still. So basically, we've processed two buckets, base almost, so far. Now over here, and I'm going to pop this off because I'm sure I got to feed this fire now. So I'm going to. Oh yeah. So, that is fed, and then I'll show you these other things. Now, the temperature um, just crossed over, just over 100 degrees at this point. We got the lids and stuff there. Um, that will come to a boil as well. And then I'm going to show you here. In this one, we have, uh, you can't really see it, but we have canning jars um, in that one and that'll come to a boil getting them ready to do the processing In here we have all the apples uh, That thing is completely full of apples So we just started the fire a little while ago uh, Bringing the temperature up this thing will be cranking here within an hour and uh, We will be just uh, you know we got some more people coming some more pots coming so we have the three pots right now that's what I had here uh, we got the canning jars some of them that I have here we got them all over here so we're just in uh, you know that process of uh, working on you know this getting this all squared away the cores and all that type of stuff there will go into the garden uh, so but uh, yeah, like I said, it's just uh, utilizing this wood stove is amazing. Uh, great wood stove. And so, you know, we're just, the process with doing the applesauce, you, you core the apple out, you leave the skin on, you put it in there, and then you get that where these apples are soft. Then you're going to strain it out. Now, that stuff, the strained out part, we can feed to the chickens. Uh, we don't want to feed them the cores. I'll show you the cores here. Uh, the seeds in the cores are toxic. So you don't want to give that to your chickens. You just want to give them the waste product of what you're not going to be utilizing for your applesauce. So uh, that's why we're going to do it that way. So that other stuff will go in the garden. Some of this will go to the chickens once we get to that point. But uh, so if you can see if this is. Oh, yeah. And they, since we looked at this last, the gauge, it's already up another 25 degrees. Uh, it takes a little while to get it started, but man, once this gets cranking, um, I'm standing back quite a ways and I can feel the heat coming off of here already. This will be rocking. Uh, we have the oven mitts here ready to use when, because as things get hotter, it's going to be a little more difficult to handle. But uh, so once we get the next pot filled up over here that they're coring out and getting ready, that will also go on here and like I said we'll just be doing a process of things and, and getting that squared away but uh, it will be pretty much an all afternoon type of project <laughs> you know uh, we're definitely going to be getting more people coming in uh, to help but we'll probably have right now we have the four of us doing it and we got the supervisor right here Paul is supervising because that's his job making keeping them in line Paul yeah all right awesome so uh but yeah so you know we're just trying to you know working together and uh, getting things squared away and 
you know, just uh, I'm st I'm stopping for like some of you are gonna probably go, oh look at that, he's watching everybody else work and he's not doing nothing. You're I used to it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I stopped to do a video, so that's why I'm not doing anything. Um, as soon as I'm done with the video, obviously there's other fires got to continue to be fed. We're gonna continue to work as a team on the apples, and we'll just naps work. Naps to be taken. Naps to be taken, right? Well, it's, it's a thought clearing process. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. But, uh, no, like I said, it's going to be a busy day. Um, right now it is, oh, we're not even 11 o'clock in the morning. So we're in great shape as far as that goes. So, again, it's going to probably, we're probably, how long, so we got 13, Barbara, five-gallon buckets. I don't think we're doing all 13 today. A couple more hours. No, probably not. But we'll we'll get what we can get done. Um, like I said, well, once um, Sandy and Mary Kay will get here, and you know, yeah, and more, get people, more people. More people work, so. Yep. So it'll go much much quicker then. But anyway, so good process, a lot of fun, um, teamwork, and that's an important thing too. And you know, and everybody will be taking home some applesauce, and we'll keep some of it here as well. Depends on how much we process this weekend and uh, but yeah you know good projects happening uh, getting that building squared away is going to be big and you know obviously it's going to be food source oh the other thing that got done as well let me take you over here real quick we have the other gutter um, set up and now running now this this tank here is up to probably about 150 gallons of water in here right now so and we have not had a lot of rain so uh, that's also affects what we catch uh, we get a lot of these hooked up and set up and ready to go um, every one that we get filled is just a bonus so uh, that's what we're going to be working on over over time and uh, one of the other things we you know like I said we just we're just going to keep working on things, banging out projects, and uh, we'll be processing more wood as we go along later in the season. And uh, maybe next month we'll get more wood. As we get these wood stoves hooked up and set up, we're going to need to be building wood sheds as well. Uh, Mark's going to need a wood shed down there. We have plenty of pallets uh, for that project, so that's a good thing. Anyway, guys, I am going to jump off of here. I'm going to be working on getting these videos up for you guys uh, for today this is still Saturday so um, I'll be doing other videos later on have a great weekend I uh, hope you're enjoying these prepper nurse one out for now